welcome back to my channel learn smart coding in this video i'm going to talk about life cycle hooks in angular so what are life cycle hooks a component instance has a life cycle that starts when angular instantiates the component class and renders the component view along with its child view meaning the life cycle continues with change detection as angular checks to see when data bound property changes like the input and updates both the views and the component instance as needed the life cycle ends when angular destroys the component instance and remove its rendering template from the dom when you navigate to a different route the component gets destroyed so there are different life cycle hooks in angular around 8 life cycle hooks so we are going to talk about 8 life cycle hooks and uh, the details of each and every life cycle hook the purpose of the life cycle hook and at what time it triggers those things are clearly mentioned in the angular documentation i will provide the link and also the screenshot of what was mentioned here but i'm going to quickly show you a demo and we will see all these things in action so here is my demo app in this demo app i've opened the application which is already running so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace a particular component and in that place i'm going to put all the life cycle hooks and show you how the events are getting triggered so for that so i'll go and create a event lock interface and then i'm going to use that event lock interface as an array in the food item component so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to start writing all the life cycle hooks events so there are two life cycle hook already in place which is on in it and on changes apart from these two there are six more life cycle hook so the third life cycle hook is the do check after do check it is after content in it followed by after content checked and the next one is the after view in it followed by after view checked and the last one is on destroy so the on destroy is the last life cycle hook so the order i have given in the details so now if you see we need to implement all these life cycle hooks so you can just refactor this by implementing all the life cycle hooks i'm going to copy paste a piece of code in each of the life cycle hook which will basically push some lock to the the event lock local public variable so that we can navigate that each item and see how it is displaying so here you see all the implementation for each life cycle hook has been placed so this basically put some nice message into the our lock and we are going to put that lock into our html code so this is the css just to decorate to have some differentiation so now if you see this once i have my code placed here the component loaded and you can immediately see all the different colors of logs so each color represent a particular log generated by a particular life cycle hook and you can see how it is evaluated like whichever has the first one so the first one in our life cycle hook is ng on change so that's why you see that as the first item in the log and similarly all the life cycle hooks it's placed here so now see the logs got generated more because i was hovering something on the top menu whenever some input changes the life cycle hooks are triggered accordingly and each time the life cycle hooks are triggered i am placing it a different log there right now you can see number 1 through everything and you can see the order ng on change on in it do check after content in it all these things these are the order that we placed while we did the implementation now what happens now there is a constructor also in our component right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy paste the same code the the log code and put it into the constructor and see what happens whether the constructor is triggered first or not right so once i put this piece of code and the component is going to get loaded and you can see the content of the constructor coming up the first one in our log is now the constructor you see this even constructor triggered and you can also see at what time it triggered great so these life cycle hooks are very important as you develop so you should know which life cycle to use and when to use the most commonly used life cycle hooks are ng on change ng on in it on destroy these are the most commonly used life cycle hooks so i'm going to explain you 
couple of important lifecycle hooks. The first lifecycle hook that will trigger is the ng on change. So it will respond when Angular sets or resets a data bound input property. So whenever you have an input property in any of the component and if that input property gets different values from the calling component, right? This lifecycle hook will trigger and uh, you can see the changes happening. Uh, anything that is placed inside this lifecycle hook, the code will be triggered. And you can see this in the next clip where I'm demonstrating the input and the output uh, functionality of a component. Okay, now the next one that will get triggered is ng on init. So ng on init is kind of initializing the component. So it initializes it. So it initializes the directive or component after Angular first displays the data bound properties and sets the directive or components input property. So the next important uh, lifecycle hook is ng on destroy. So this is something that where you will put all the cleanup code, like cleaning up your subscription and uh, anything that you wanted to change, remove the observables, right? Unsubscribe the observables, and ready dash some event handlers for avoiding the memory leak. For all those things, you put those piece of code into this lifecycle hook. And this lifecycle hook will be triggered when a component is destroyed. When you navigate from a one route to a different route where the component is no more in the DOM, this will be triggered. And for all the rest of the lifecycle hooks, you can go through the documentation and as you develop, you can see the changes and you can implement by yourself and see what happens to uh, those lifecycle hooks. Make sure you don't put any piece of a logic in just in all the lifecycle hooks, they're very dangerous. Uh, every time, every milliseconds, I would say nanoseconds, uh, these events are triggered. So whatever you are placing it, you need to be careful. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.